how far have we come already with event-based processing? Is this functionality still relatively young and you're expecting the next few releases to be um, offering a, a big jump forward or is this already mature? It, it depends who you are. So it's obviously when I talk to a public cloud customer, they're typically smaller. They're typically running things in one plant. They're typically, they haven't been doing something for the last 20 years that they want to learn keep doing. Whereas if I talk to an on-premise or even a private cloud customer, if they've been doing, for example, mixed costing for the last 20 years, I don't win a lot of um, flowers if I say, I'm sorry, we don't do mixed costing anymore. So particularly, it was interesting writing the book with John, while at the same time trying to write the specifications so we could do mixed price variances in hopefully the next or the one after edition of, of Espohana and also the scrap variances. Because as we said, from a business point of view, nothing really changes. Scrap is still scrap. And how you account for scrap in your master data, there's no change there. Everything that John wrote is still valid. But the difference is our data structures have changed. And we have to start, we have to start recording what, what the scrap would be in the, in the cost estimate for the production order in order to be able to evaluate it later. And the same with the mixed price variances. You know, the need to have multiple sources to buy a component or to buy um, a, a semi-finished product, that doesn't change. That's that's always been there. But what we are saying is we haven't yet enabled that in universal parallel accounting and we will be going on to do that. So, I mean, my gut feeling, and don't quote me, is probably, you know, the next two or three years, there'll be a constant flow of things being finished, hopefully sooner rather than later, because that's my job to get it out sooner rather than later. <laughs> <laughs> 